What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the new Alpha Lee Pulse Collection. Literally just came out not even a week ago. Had to snag it right away. Ever since the first Amplify video that I did of Alpha Lee, where I'm right now, oh my god. I've been kind of obsessing over this brand and you guys have been begging for another Alpha Lee video. So I figured now's a great time since they just launched their Pulse Collection. So this is a first impression. I haven't tried any of these pieces on, but we're about to experience this together. Mm -hmm. There's some dope colors. I don't know if you guys have seen, but everything's fall based and uh, well, immediately I was sold. Okay, so we have two different leggings in this Pulse collection right now. We have in the color white, the Pulse Surge. And then we have in the sun-kissed color, the Pulse Kinetic. So right off, so the Surge and the Kinetic, they're made out of the same material, but I'm noticing that the Surge is a little more seam action going on, especially on the backside. It's double seamed all the way down, goes across the ankle on the bottom, whereas the Kinetic still has the double seam down the side, but no movement across the ankle, and it doesn't have the double seam on the upper booty area. I already think I might favor the Kinetic just a little bit more, because I'm a minimal seam kind of gal. That's just me. I love my seamless leggings, but I'm not against seamed leggings if they're done right. Like I personally feel the fact that these leggings do not have a front seam, I think they're gonna look pretty flattering. The material in of itself is super slippery. I hope it doesn't fall down my bum, but I do love and appreciate that really soft legging feel. And I'm really eager to see the squat proof on these. I do notice the kinetic right here on the band area. There's no seam up top, which makes it feel bulky. Whereas the surge I notice is held together by a little seam right up top here, which makes it feel like there's a little something a little extra right here. So according to the site though, the Kinetic is 27 and a half inch inseam. So that might be a little long on me. Whereas the Surge is only 25 inches, which I prefer. So it's looking like there might be some pros and some cons for me. I don't know. So this is the Pulse Surge bra in that sun-kissed color. So you got that high neck style fit on this one and that cute as hell cut out right there. I think this is gonna look really, really dainty and pretty. You have a plain racer back and according to the site, this is high impact. You do have removable bra pads, so we'll see just how high impact that one is. We also have the Kinetic Sports bra in that white color square neck. This is just moderate support and I am obsessed with the backing here. It's very, very sexy. You got a really nice back fong, but a little bit of stringy action going on. This is gonna be so perfect for back day. I can already tell. And then I have the Pulse Balance in the color Cinnamon. It's like a warm brown color. It's a normal racer back, almost like a square neck. They call it a camisole style, but I'm gonna just go with another square neck. <laughs> The Balance and the Surge bras kind of look the same. They both have that simple racer back, about the same kind of thickness with the bra straps, but you'll notice that this one's way more high neck, has the little keyhole cutout, and this one's more square neck. And instead of the keyhole cutout, you do have the gripped logo lining the band. This is more higher support, and this one's more of a moderate support, but all these sports bras do have removable bra pads. I also have these Surge shorts in the color Red Hot. Ooh, spicy. I also have the Kinetic shorts in the color Cinnamon. You'll notice that there's two totally different lengths here. This is more on the biker style side. These are more short shorts. So four inch inseam versus seven and a half inch seam. So almost double. Keep that in mind when you buy in your shorts. And to go with these red hot spicy shorts, I actually picked up the really cute, ultra sophisticated looking Pulse Zip Tank. There's no bra pads or anything. This just goes over your set, but damn if I don't love a longer style crop, especially one that zips. <sighs> this is gonna be one hell of a hot set. I can't freaking wait. And last but not least, I had to pick up one of their full jackets. So this is a long sleeve pulse zips all the way down kind of jacket with fall around the corner, and especially this freaking color is making me look like a maple leaf. You know I had to get something to just throw over the whole set to complete them. I am so excited. Okay guys, so first impression, this bra, I really love the cut of it. I love the logo kind of blending in. That white on white is really fresh. It's a little bit big though. I noticed that on their other sports bras that I've bought, 
that I need to size down in their sports bras. That's like a thing for me. I think it is really flattering. Like look at that backing right there. Oh my God. It's just simply unique and elegant looking. So the design, awesome. Just got a size down. It's kind of giving me Whitney bra vibes with that seam that runs right across the nips almost. <laughs> so even though it's a little big, I do feel like that moderate support. I'm glad there's no side boob action because I have a problem with that with their other bra. So nice and supportive overall. The leggings, however, I mean, straight up when I was getting them on, I think a seam or two popped on this upper band area. It seems to be kind of squat proof and kind of not. When I squat, I see my ass crack but I don't see my red thong through it, so that's kind of like weird. And of course, I knew my self-tanner would get right all over this white set the second I put it on. No news there, knew that was gonna happen. The length is pretty nice though, coming up to a really beautiful length on me. I think overall it's not totally flattering on the booty, you know, like the Amplify, that one did its job. The seams are a little much for me. I knew that when I first pulled them out of the bag. This double seam kind of cuts my booty down, makes it look a little bit smaller. Overall, it has a beautiful stretch. It's not sliding like I thought it might. The compression's overall just a moderate style compression. You can see a little bit of cellulite though, so, and it's probably because it is white, but just keep that in mind if you're trying to conceal a little bit of that cellulite, then maybe opt out for a darker color or something with more higher impact. But no front seam, no dreaded CT. The camel toe is non-existent, so they did really good in that department. Okay, how about this red spicy set we got going on here? I kept the sports bra underneath the white. Thought it looked really cute with matching the white logo. The shorts are really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> they don't dig in. They're just laying breezy over my legs, leaving me alone. I would give it totally squat proof on these shorts. I'm not seeing anything. Again, it's the same idea where you have that double seam in the back. So up close, I kind of feel like it's shrinking my glutes up, but from far away, you can't even tell. So I'm gonna squat up a storm and see if it rolls up any. Move it around real nice, knees. Do high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, hit it. Boom. All right, what do we got here? A little bit of a roll up, but then again, I was doing high knees for crying out loud. It does roll up slightly. Again, these are really soft, like buttery, kind of soft, very wicking. But talk to me about how sexy this is. Zipped up, oh my God. I love how the length just kind of comes barely touching the shorts. And if you have a longer torso than I do, which you probably do, then it, you can expect it to be a little more cropped. But overall, such a body fit. I love how they place the logo right here but on the shorts, it's back here. So you're not bombarded with logos on the front of you or the back of you. Counterbalances itself a little bit here, so it's not too much in your face. This is definitely the kind of material that will wick that sweat right off of you. There's no doubt about that. It's mostly like a nylon base. You have a really nice stretch as well. So take a look at that stretch right there. That's pretty decent if you, you ask me. Whew. Okay, so I think this is a little more of my speed. This sports bra actually fits true to size, believe it or not, whereas the other one was a little too big. That's so weird. I have to size down on that one, but not this one. So definitely keep that in mind. Even though it's the same collection, there's big differences between the sports bra. This one I feel is holding me better, obviously, because it's more of my true size. You also have a lot more cleavage showing on this one. This one's sexy. This is the camisole bra, and I actually see what they mean. It looked square neck at first but you can see a little bit of a curvature in the front. The cinnamon color is beautiful. This might be my favorite out of all of them. Wow. I actually am obsessed with the biker style more than anything, these shorts. The kinetic is definitely more of my speed. You don't have that annoying seam that's digging in up here. It just lays flat and thin. You do not have the double seam right here. So I feel like these are accentuating the glutes really nice, whereas the other ones just shrunk them up. So kinetic is my favorite. You have it more of a V style. So it hugs the curves of the upper glute area and kind of just defines them nicely, giving you a little more curvature back there. So this is definitely my preference. The site says medium impact. I would totally give it that. There's no slippage whatsoever. Nothing's rolling on these biker style shorts and everything's staying really nice and tight up against my midsection here. So there's no 
weird gaping or anything going on. These are extremely comfortable. Totally true to size. Absolutely squat proof in this color cinnamon. Yes. These are totally breathable, so I would say perfect for a gym set. Just wear it to the gym. This will do everything you need it to do. Lick that sweat real good. Let's try on the full zip with this. This material all together just kind of feels like one of those types of material that get cold easily, if that makes sense. Like it's cold when you first put it on your body until you warm it up. Oh, that's cute. This is a perfect length on me. So this all day is not showing any real stomach. You got your thumb holes, but it definitely does a little bit of this sliding when you put your hands up. No problem, just kind of go like that. Really nice body fit, but yet still loose enough to be comfortable in. It's not skin tight. All right, let's end with this beautiful sun-kissed set. This surge bra is supposedly high impact. I don't really feel like it's really holding them in to qualify for a high impact, but then again, Maybe sizing down would help, but this feels really comfortable, like it would be true to size on me. So I'm a little bit half and half with this one. I don't know. On the website, I know the keyhole looks very prominent, like a big, nice, beautiful keyhole, but while I'm wearing it, I feel like just moving around a little bit, put my arms back down, it kind of conceals it. It's tucking underneath and not doing what I want it to do, so I don't really feel like it's an effective keyhole. I just feel like it's more or less just an extra piece of material now that I have to worry about pulling down so that it looks like a freaking keyhole. So it just makes it look like it's overall too big of a sports bra and I don't know for a fact if sizing down would really help this issue. Other than that, the backing is super cute, super straightforward. So like I thought in the beginning, the kinetic leggings come a little bit long on me. So this is the length. That's the only shisty part. Can't win them all. So keep that in mind, guys. The kinetic leggings, the ones with the minimal seams, have the longer length. Definitely prefer this style over anything, but the length is the only downfall for me. So they're seeming like they're 100% squat proof in this color. So yeah, I think the only issue I had was the white being a like 85, 90% squat proof. Everything else seems to be up to par with that. What I love about this collection though is the mix and match potential. Are you serious right now? Oh. These two colors together are so complimentary. So if there's any colors in the bunch, I would suggest it would be these ones. All right guys, so what are we thinking about the new Alpha Leap Pulse collection? Comment down below your thoughts. If you already snagged them, come on girl, tell me what you got and how you like it. Overall, I would definitely say for a non-seamless collection, not bad. The kinetic, really nice. No front seam, yes. I know when I was first scrolling the site, I was getting a little confused because there were so many like subdivisions within this collection. <laughs> so many different names like Balance, Surge, Pulse, Kinetic, like it was all over the place, but I hope this video helped you kind of sort things out a little bit and see what the differences were. I think the Balance wins the day here and the Kinetic leggings. I don't care if they're a little bit long, all right? Minimal seams just got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more active wear videos just like this. If you'd like to see more Alpha Lee, just let me know below. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.